In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make custom multi-cell fixture profiles. Hey everyone, today I'm launching a new series all about making custom profiles in Blackout. If you've been using Blackout for any amount of time, you know that part of what makes Blackout special as a lighting console is our fixture database. We have one of the best fixture databases in the industry, and that's because our profiles are human made and human verified. As you can see in our fixture database, we have these green tags next to all the profiles that have been human verified to work. And we go a step further and use these blue preferred tags to tell you that these are profiles that we recommend using for your sets. Now this video is about making a custom profile for yourself, but I'm bringing up our fixture database because one of the best things you can do to set yourself up for success if you have a light that we don't have a profile for is let us know. Use the help center and request a new fixture and we will have it in there very quickly. But without further ado, let's get into making our own custom multi-cell fixture profile. As a quick refresher, a multi-cell profile is a profile that contains multiple cells, which are essentially separate units within the same profile that you can control individually. Commonly, this is used for pixels in a unit like an Astera Titan tube. But the first example we'll look at is a super basic six channel dimmer that you want to be tied into all one fixture. The example that I think makes the most sense is six space lights overhead into a six channel dimmer. So basically we have six lights overhead that we're probably controlling all together most of the time, but there might be moments where we wanna dim them individually. So making a profile for this makes a lot of sense. So let's take a look. We'll start off by navigating to the patch tab and going to add fixtures. And here, we'll now create new. We can call this 6 by dimmer. And for the mode, we'll put 8-bit, because they're 8-bit dimmers, and 6-channel. And this will be 8-bit 6-cell dimmer. And we'll change the DMX footprint to be 6, and save. Now we're in the fixture editor, and the first thing I'm going to do is actually close out of here because what I need to do is actually change all of my modules to cells. Okay, before we go any further, let's think about this for a second. We have a dimmer box with six channels, and each of those channels gets an address. There's no master channel that controls all of them, so we need to tell Blackout to create that for us because when you enter the address, that's just controlling the first channel on the dimmer. So let's say you put in address one, then address one is controlling dimmer one, address two is controlling dimmer two, address three is controlling dimmer three, and so on and so forth, all the way to six. There's no address anywhere in there that controls all of them. So when you're building a profile, you only define actual parameters that your fixture has. So I know that's a bit confusing, so let me show you what I mean. Here, we have a head cell, but Blackout is going to automatically create the head for us. So we're gonna tap the pencil here and change this to a cell, and we'll relabel it cell. Now we can add our parameter, which is just intensity. I'm hitting new channel right here and I'm searching for intensity. I can use this filter, scroll down until I see intensity. And all the defaults here are fine. Beautiful. Now we just have to create five more modules. I'll hit new module. I'll come up to this list and select our cell and then make sure I switch it to cell and hit save. And I'll do the same thing until I have six. Cell, switch it to cell, save. Okay. So now I have six cells that all have their own intensity parameter. All I have to do now is hit save and patch it in. So I'll hit save, hit patch. We'll keep the defaults for now just to test it. And now if I go to my fixture tab, there we go. In the head, if I bring up the intensity, it brings up all of them, but I can clear out and then select just one of them and bring that up and down. Then I can grab the head and make all of them full. I can grab the head and go offset, cells only, even, and just turn the evens off. So let's do one more together that's a very common fixture, RGB pixel tape. The problem with RGB pixel tape is each pixel just has three parameters, red, green, blue, there's no dimmer. So it's similar. We have to tell Blackout to create a dimmer to dim each channel using those red, green, blue channels and create a master dimmer for the whole thing. So let's take a look at that. Let's say we're doing three pixel tape. We'll go to add fixtures and create new. And we'll call this three pixel RGB tape. We'll say RGB 8-bit. 
You can look at some of our other profiles to see what our naming conventions are. And so I have red, green, blue over three pixels. So that will be a nine channel footprint. We'll save that. And I'll do the same thing by starting off and turning this into a cell. Because again, address one on this pixel tape is red of the first cell, of the first pixel. Address two is green of the first cell. And then address three is blue of the first cell. And then address four is red of the second cell. And there are no dimmers. So Blackout will just create those for us. So we'll switch this to cell. And I'll call it pixel. And save. And I'll do new channel, select parameter. And I'll type in red. Find red, save. All the defaults for red are perfect. So let's save that. New channel. We'll search for blue. New channel. I'll search for green. And save. And this is our first pixel done. So now we'll do the same thing, new module, and I'll select a pixel, make sure it's a cell, and save. And you can see that's starting at address four. And then I'll do it one more time, select a module, pixel, change it to a cell, and save. So now let's patch this profile in and take a look. I'll save it. I'll patch it. Just for visibility, I'll change the color here to a red. So now I can grab my fixture and start dimming it up. And you can see Blackout built us a virtual dimmer. And if I go into table view, I can see what Blackout's actually doing. Blackout has just turned the red channel on. If I saturate it down, We get all the channels at full because that's white. And as I dim it down, it dims the virtual dimmer. But if I switch to my output value view state, I can see that as I dim down, this is what blackout is actually doing. It's dimming down the color channels. So that's what a virtual dimmer does. So here I have some pixel tape connected to a DMX decoder. And if I bring my virtual dimmer up, you can see this whole section glows. These are my three pixels. And I can come in here and turn my two end pixels off and just get these. On this tape, one pixel is three diodes. And then I can turn the second one on. And then I can come in here, saturate them up, move them around the color wheel. And you can see it works perfectly. So now I can just tap the fixture, grab the whole thing. Look at that, put them at full, make them all the same color. And there you go, that's how to make a custom profile for multi-cell units. Next in this series, I'll be taking a look at moving lights and more complex fixtures, but let me know in the comments what you wanna see more of. And of course, if you have a fixture that you're unsure about, let us know in the help center and we'll get it in there for you. Okay, that's it, see you next time.